Don here in Florida and today I'm looking into the top of my Craftsman 150 drill press. <laughs> I guess you're all familiar at this point with the modification I made here to add in a reduction pulley as well as have a counterweight for the table to uh, move up and down. The one thing that I really kind of goofed on when I did this project was in the reduction and I mean the steps in reduction because what I have here is a four sheath pulley, a four sheath pulley, and a four sheath pulley and with all the different combinations I would have thought that would have been really enough for me but when I got it put together I made up this little card here with all the steps and the speeds that are in here and yeah it gives me a lot of different speeds but unfortunately most of these speeds are too close together and let me just read them off real quick here in the order that I got them. I got a uh, 240, 520, 930, 475, 1000, 2100, 850, 3100, and 5800. Now, the 30, um, so I have a, a bunch of speeds that are all kind of clumped up onto themselves here. And it really, in the end, only allows me to use about three good speeds. Um, the 240, the 520, and the 930, I use those the most. Uh, the lower one always remains intact. <clears throat> well, thinking that, I got an idea. If I added in a five sheath pulley in the middle here and always kept the lower one in place, which I do, would that give me a better spacing in speeds? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to remove this I'm going to move the motor up so I can get that top sheath and then we'll have four to play with on the top and three to play with on the bottom and we'll see what we come up with, okay? So let's do that real quick. Okay, so that's the tightening handle and all of that is just a Allen head bolt. I took an Allen wrench, stuck it in there, bent it and welded a steel ball on the end and that's all I used there. And that runs through that right there which holds it all in place a little washer on the top and I got a bronze bushing right through the middle so let's see what the difference in heights of those are okay that's a one just over one and a half and that's just under one and a half okay so I'm wondering if I can't press that out and uh, use it in here. Let's take a look, see. Actually, I think that, yeah, it has an Allen screw that holds it in place, whereas this one doesn't have a spot for an Allen screw. I may have to make one. So let's go ahead and take that out. That's in there good. See if I can tap that out. Oh yeah. Just like that. See where the Allen screw was mated on there? there aha uh -huh. it's not going to drop in there 936 huh interesting yeah this is 102 so we're gonna have to open that up a little bit, I guess. Open that up or turn this down. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll turn that down slightly. Let's go over on the lathe. Okay, I, I don't really feel like making a bunch of changes over there on the lathe. So I'm just gonna put this on an expanding arbor and we'll see how it goes. Let's go 
go check that up. Okay, so it's about uh, seventy thousandths. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I don't want that uh, pulley even thinking about turning on that bushing. So I'm going to go ahead and put a locking Allen screw in here uh, just to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. So let me go drill that real quick and then we'll uh, tap it and put that in. that Allen head grub screw in there. There we go, just like that. And clean out that bore and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a little acetone and clean these surfaces up because I'm gonna use a little Loctite to help that get that going here. That should do it. I made that out of stainless. Wipe off the excess. There we go. And, of course, that and the washer. Let's go put it back. Okay. Feels good. I'm going to leave it loose for now. All right, so this whole motor has to be raised up. So i got to get some wrenches, raise this motor up a little bit. set the depth on here as well okay so we got our height adjustment we got the uh, belts on here let's go ahead and try it out see what we got damn oh yeah and down here you can look at this look at that chuck let's get some speed readings on this here Okay, so let's get some reflective tape on here so we know what we're doing. And I got my cheap tester here. Actually, it works pretty good for being a cheap tester. Let's see what we got. Okay, it says 220. Okay, so we dropped down one. Let's see what we got now. Okay, uh, 435, and that was from 520, 
Now this one's really humping. Uh, 730. 733. Wow, this one's something. And this is a uh, 1245. Uh, and we didn't have that fourth one, but the, the next one up from that would have been uh, 1000. So let me I'm gonna go off camera here and swap the belts around and measure and take uh, readings from the other sheaves and see what we have for a full line of uh, readings here. Okay, so this is what we got for being able to switch out from that four to that five sheave. Um, and these are realistic. I didn't take all the higher numbers. It, it just wasn't worth it when I started having to swap over sheaves um, to go from a large to a smaller size pulley. I, I knew the speed was gonna go up so much that it, it wasn't worth continuing. So this is what I got with just basic swaps, 219. 435, 733, 1245, that's all in one sheave. 397, 784, 1325, 535, 1055, and 1776. And if we look at it like this, the old, I had, uh, and this is in order, and these marks indicate that it's all on one sheave. So on one sheave without having to swap others it would be 244 75 and 930 but this is the usable range right here basically i have six usable speeds when i get up to this amount of rpm 21 and above uh, i just don't use those so i have six usable speeds here here i go 219 397 435 535 733 784 1055 1245 1325 and 1776 with 219, 435, 733, and 1245 all being on that first sheave. So I have a lot more usable speeds here. And like I said, above that, I, I didn't bother. So I have 10 versus six, which um, I'm really happy about. And they're, they're grouped closer together in, in this set here because here I don't even have one in the 300 range, for example. Uh, the 700s I don't have, um, 850 I think was the closest, so I think it, it ramps up a little bit nicer. I think this 219, it doesn't look like it's moving at 219, it looks like it's moving slower, and I would have expected it to move slower compared to the 240, but I may have measured these just a little off um, when I did them, so overall I'm pretty happy about that. So that's about it, I know this is a short one, I hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Florida, Dawn out.